Well, I saw Deadpool and Wolverine, so the MCU is saved. Disney back on top. No, no. Uh, even if this thing was a spectacular film, it really wasn't. Uh, uh, nothing was really going to pull Disney out of its doldrums where it is now. And uh, they would need, you know, uh, four or five Deadpools. <laughs> And there's a lot of Deadpools in the film, multiverse shenanigans, you know, uh, to uh, to give it any boost. Uh, but that's a whole other story of where they've put themselves. And a couple of uh, hit movies just ain't going to do what needs to be done. They've had time to address the problems. They were arrogant and foolish and didn't do it. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's looking pretty bad overall, and uh, the, the brand is uh, badly damaged, and that's the kind of thing that I don't know how you fix that, uh, especially and you know uh, the elements of a generational loss of where you haven't attached uh, uh, certain people because your product was so bad that you can't keep them coming uh, years later, you know. But again, whole other story. Wolverine and Deadpool, Deadpool and Wolverine, what have you. But it's it's a lot of cameos. It's uh, the silliness that really has gotten old on, on me. Uh, and it uh, other people who really, really, really love Deadpool, I think they'll be fine w- with this. Um, and it, it's cool to see uh, Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine in, in full costume. Yes, he puts the mask on, and he's in it for quite a while at the end there. Uh, so you get a lot of uh, masked Wolverine, you know. <laughs> Um, uh, but it, so it, you know, it's the, the buddy comedy romp takes place through this and, uh, they work off of each other pretty good. Uh, but it's kind of the, uh, the same scenes over and over again. Uh, and then, you know, the ultimate battle at the end and, uh, well, the big battle with multiple Deadpools, uh, you know, has a silly solution to it. And what, if, and of course it would, I mean, well, then the narrative as said from by the, this film series from the first one, I said, all right, I'll give them that. And there's an awful lot. The fourth wall is just shattered completely. Um, and that's just to throw in silliness to get around obvious problems here. People who really did like uh, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Uh, the movie Logan was a great send off for the character. Of course, with multiverse shenanigans, it, this is not that Wolverine. This is an alternate version of him. And it's more exploration of that, which was obviously the plan from the get-go, but uh, the problems with Quantumania and then the Kang actor and all that stuff happening uh, really uh, screwed up the works here and probably would have screwed up anyway because <laughs> other than Spider-Man, and this is kind of a distant second, as far as multiverse uh, uh, films go, because the Doctor Strange one was pretty bad. Uh, that's it, you know? And then you had Loki series supposed to deal with it. Uh, and, oh, by the way, yes, uh, Loki's uh, TV set does appear here, very prominent to the plot and everything. No mention of it. Only one character that I remember uh, shows up in, in it from that series. There's enough setup and explanation within the film that you didn't need to see the Loki show. And in some ways, by my accounting of it all, uh, would make sense. Uh, I think there's a big plot hole here after what happened to Loki after season two, where he's basically the god of time. Uh, I don't think this sort of shenanigans could even take place without him uh, putting a stop to it. So... Like in the comic books, you would just have these events take place between, <laughs> I don't know, X Men and uh, and takes uh, before Loki two, so <laughs> that way it doesn't count. But that's not the case because what the character uh, she seems to be in charge. Uh, she was uh, the uh, what was her name? I can't remember now. <laughs> Uh, she used to be one of the, the foot soldiers, and now she's kind of one. Uh, looks like the boss now, or at least uh, you know one of the main lieutenants of the TVA. But anyway, uh, so they're there. There's an explanation about what they do. 
and all of that. And one of them's gone rogue and has his own sinister plot and is going to use Deadpool. And uh, Deadpool's got to get Wolverine. And, uh, oh, no, his Wolverine's dead and all that sort of stuff. So he's got to go through the multiverse to find another Wolverine. And there's some silliness there. Uh, some of the rumors uh, about oh, the cameos and whatnot, I'll go ahead and start spoiling that, which I've already spoiled a good bit of this anyway. <laughs> just explained how you, you didn't need to see the Loki show, but it would help had you seen it somewhat. But then again, it might hurt because, hey, where's Loki? Can't he stop this? You know, so. Hmm. But anyway, uh, in his search for other Wolverines, Yes, Henry Cavill does appear as Wolverine. Uh, he was, I didn't see that he resembled the old man, uh, you know, Logan, and that's where this uh, potential future Logan type stories they did in the comics, because uh, it doesn't look that old and all of that. But he's just there for the gag. And, you know, of course it's Deadpool. So he said, hey, you kind of look like Henry Cavill, you know, and, you know, because it is Henry Cavill. Uh, but it's very brief, and that's all it is. Um, so, uh, the next, uh, surprise, uh, cameo, uh, is, uh, Chris Evans. Oh boy. And of course, uh, Deadpool thinks he's Captain America. Uh, he's not. Who's the other superhero he played? Yes, that's right. He's Johnny Storm. Uh, if you really like that iteration of Fantastic Four, <laughs> it's not going to be respected. Uh, but, you know, it was like, oh, it's because I hadn't heard that one. So I knew there would be cameos and whatnot, but hadn't heard that one. Then uh, the rest of it, because this is all involving, you know, which is now the dead uh, Fox Marvel Universe, which included the X-Men, which is the, really the only successful one. Daredevil, because, uh, well, Elektra shows up. No, not from the DB series. Uh, uh, oh, Jennifer Garner, that's her name. <laughs> So she she shows up, and then Blade Blade, who actually uh, the successful trilogy of, of Blade movies is what bankrolled uh, the Mar MCU even happening in the first place. So uh, Wesley Snipes reprises the role and he shows up. Is I, I can't remember if I heard that or not, but I figured he probably would. Uh, but that's kind of the idea. It's all those original uh, uh, films that got this going uh, before the MCU came into being. And so uh, the Fantastic Four with Johnny Storm shows up and that sort of thing. And then there's references of plenty uh, of the different uh, you know, uh, Fox properties that they had. Uh, what's his name? And I'm blanking on his name. The guy who was in talks to be Gambit. They were going to do a Gambit movie and it never came about. And then, of course, Fox was bought by Disney and all that. So... He shows up dressed up in a Gambit costume. <laughs> it kind of sticks out from the others. <laughs> so you get that cameo. And then, of course, well, one of the trailers revealed X-23 would show up. She's all grown up now from the Logan film. And uh, that's to have a few sensitive scenes between her and the alternate Logan, who, uh, 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 who screwed up on his planet. And as a result, his X-Men were all wiped out. So uh, he's seeking redemption in all of this. And he gets it, you know, and, all, and so, you know, it. there's some decent scenes here and there that, you know, I like. The, the action's pretty good for the most part. Um, the, the the opening scene, you know, they, they do pretty good with that. Uh, it's nowhere near on par with the first movie, which is pr the best it's going to be as far as uh, Deadpool movies go. Uh, but nevertheless, and then they have their big fight uh, again and again. <laughs> and then there's multiple Deadpools, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and some of those are pretty funny. Um, and then uh, the evil twin sister of Charles Xavier, uh, seemingly the main villain, but then there was the TVA guy, but, you know, there's two villains and all that. There's a doomsday machine. They got to stop it. Surely, uh, it, it told him whoever goes down there to stop it before evil uh, Xavier's sister takes it over. Cassandra, I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> takes it over. Uh, they're going to die. And, of course, they're going to fight over who's going to do it. And uh, But in the end, they do it together. And as a result of them doing it together, they survive. Isn't that sweet? So, uh, 
they have a little happy ending and, and dinner at uh, Wade's place and uh, his cast shows up and eh, everything's happy and good. Uh, in credits is, uh, you know, outtakes and scenes from the past uh, movie. So it's, it's a celebration of that era in, in a lot of ways, which, you know, there's some sense to that. However, overall, uh, it's fine uh, for Deadpool and that's what I always thought. I still think this will do well. I don't. It's not as good as the the first two. It just has the added bonus of Hugh Jackman's in it, uh, which can go a long way. But that doesn't always work out um, with these things. You know, I thought Michael Keaton did a fantastic job reprising Batman in The Flash, but it was a stupid movie, so it didn't matter. <laughs> you know? This isn't that stupid. Um. And especially since you, you, you're you already uh, accepting of it being uh, over-the-top silly uh, because that's the nature of it. So a lot of that is easily uh, forgiven. Um, but as far as helping the MCU and all that sort of thing, it really doesn't. And there's virtually nothing here that I thought would have some kind of lead-ins for their multiverse movies. Now, perhaps there was something shot but since the Kang thing fell apart, it, it's just not there anymore. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of the opposite thing. It's like, if you're really looking forward to this multiverse saga story, uh, you got to tune in. Uh, but if that was the case that you're really interested to it, no, you really didn't. You didn't need to watch this at all. Where it's the opposite. You, you, you desperately need uh, Deadpool and Wolverine to uh, jumpstart the MCU again in the hopes that people will take more interest in it and show up for the next film. Um, that's it, it, it doesn't do anything for that. So I was kind of surprised, but again, perhaps my guess is the Kang thing uh, kind of ruined it for them, and uh, they don't really have any connection to it further. The odds are, um, I don't know about Wolverine, maybe. They both survive. So they're they're around, but um, they'll probably have some cameos for Secret Wars or something like that. But as far as uh, an overall arcing narrative, it's just not there. So yeah, I don't know. But uh, as for uh, who would be the Wolverine for their new X Men and all that, well, I don't think it's going to be Henry Cavill. Um, X-23 is a girl, so they might just bring her in. <laughs> she survives, too, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. But um, anyway, the, you know, it's a silly little romp. It's not all that great. But, you know, yeah, I guess it's fun for what it is. Um, and, of course, uh, yeah, you're better off not having seen the Loki show because I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Um, how does this even happen? You know, anywho, there you go. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine and, uh, Marvel is still in bad shape, but, uh, Deadpool probably do all right for Deadpool fans. And that's it.